the Three Rocks Trail right behind the Carrick Foil uh, Quarry in Fort Mountain. Today is the uh, 12th of June and I'm starting my training towards uh, getting ready to be, go to Nepal in September. So it's a fairly modest hike. There's a few hills, you know, in Fort Mountain on the way up. And I'm going to go to the Skeeter Park viewpoint and I'll show that. But I just wanted to show you the beautiful views that you can get while walking on this. And I'm just going to enjoy the day. You know, first day you start training. And I'm thinking about amending my diet for the next 30 days. Stay a little bit more for that and see if I actually change my diet. Uh, just in preparation of cleansing and getting ready for the workouts coming up ahead. Well, I think I might have bit off a little bit more than I can chew. I forgot the uh, the distance of it. So for my first day training, when I got to the top of the quarry, and then I started toward going towards uh, Skeeter Point, uh, it said four and a half kilometers to get to Skeeter Point. So I've already done about 12 kilometers this morning and I still have to make my way back, which is another 12 kilometers. So it'll be 24 kilometers from the first day train. So here's the, uh, the viewpoints that you can see. So there's Rossler Point, Johnstown Castle, Tusker Rock Lighthouse, Ladies Island, Cumption Lake, Kilmore Key, Salty Islands, Ali Teesboro, Hookhead, Bano Bay, Carrick Atina Rock Tour. So here's what it looks like. It's really an amazing view. If you look all the way out. And here's the area. There's, the area. There's my water, my walking stick, and my backpack. Don't have much in the backpack, but it just to get used to it. So I'm walking back. Um, about three and a half kilometers until I get back to the uh, the uh, Carrickfoyle uh, quarry, which is the reservoir, and it's starting to rain. So, actually, it's not too bad. It feels good on, you know, to have rain. We haven't had rain for about four weeks, so it's much uh, needed, and I feel pretty good considering. So, I've uh, probably done about. 15, 14, 15 kilometers so far. You know, all said and done, not too bad. My first day back. Okay, I want your opinion here, so please leave uh, comments in the comment section. Just uh, let me know. Um, about 13 years ago, I had, did a reset and I went to a vegan diet. I was very feeling very unhealthy, a lot of allergy problems and that. And it was like a reset and it really helped me out a lot. And then I've carried on a... a predominantly vegan diet since then and obviously there's a few times when I was doing a couple of the vlogs uh, and also when I go to Nepal I won't be holding it to that because I want to experience all different cultures and the foods and that but I'm also thinking of maybe doing a reset have any of you ever tried um, any of the other diets that are out there now I'm thinking of going maybe 30 days to uh, the all meat diet the carn uh, carnivore diet I know there's a lot of side effects and like restrictions that you have to watch out for. It's not good for a prolonged time. I know there's Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan are onto it and stuff. Um, I might try it for 30 days because supposedly it has to have like a clean cleansing and a reset of your system, but you can't do it for a long, long time. So let me know in the comment section if you ever tried any. Where is there any other diets? that I should think about. So like I said, I'm doing this in preparation for trying to get in shape again after the old winter hibernation and towards getting ready for being able to trek and enjoy myself when I go to Nepal. So feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think about what is a, a decent diet to try for a reset. Here's another question I want to ask you. Um, when I go to Nepal, 
I'm predominantly staying in uh, homestays. So I want to experience the, uh, you know, the culture in Nepal with the families and hopefully learn some more Nepali while I'm there. And uh, what do you think uh, would be better for me? And what would you like to see more? Myself staying in the homestays or the hostels or staying in hotels and that. Personally, I think the hotels, when you're not out exploring the town or the cities and stuff, you're just in a room by yourself. Sure, there's a the privacy issue of it and usually they're better luxury and that, but I want to get your opinion. What do you want to see more? The homestays, the hostels, or the plush hotels in Nepal when I go there in September and October. As far as my workout routine is going to go is, well, obviously today being the first day at it and I'm on holidays till Friday this week. So I'm doing a nice big long hike of about five, kilom uh, five hours. Normally my routine would be, and I did this when I prepared for the Camino, uh, when I went on the Camino last April. What I do is after I finish work around four o'clock in the afternoon, I'd go for a two to two and a half hour walk around the area. Now, preparing for Nepal with the Himalayas, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more, maybe not as long in that, but try to find more hills. There's a few hills around me, but we don't have some huge, huge hills. So I'll have to like maybe go over the same area twice or three times to, you know, to get maximize the, uh, the, um, the increase in elevation and decrease in going up and down. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to do for the next couple months. I'm going to ease myself into it, obviously, um, to prevent injuries. Because the reason why I didn't want to start too, too early is because you can always, you know, overtrain and get uh, injured by the time you're going. So I wanted to gradually increase it. So obviously five hours today is not gradually increasing it, but I'm taking my time and I don't have a huge backpack with a lot of weight on it. Just have some water and some accommodate you know just some little necessities i need um now obviously as your training goes on you start to increase the uh the weight that you're carrying so i'll be carrying usually i'd carry like a, a big five liter jug of water in the backpack to uh, you know to add the weight to it um also change maybe the footwear and that right now i just have my my handy duty uh you know trail runner type with good grips um but then I'll tr gradually go towards my heavier boots to get used to the weight on that on the legs as well. So I'll just keep going on this nice little walk around Fort Mountain in Wexford County, Wexford in Ireland. What made me choose going to Nepal? Well, when I was uh, dealing with my uh, cancer, um, you know, I was off work for a few weeks. I was uh, post-operation and I was thinking about the Camino and then I started watching a lot of YouTube and two of my favorite vloggers who I watch and follow uh, Harold Balder and uh, Gabriel Traveler they had both done a trek in Lang Tang Trek and I really really loved the whole vlogs and the people and the experience that they had and I decided that that's something that I would want to do so I set out to decide to do the Lang Tang after I did the Camino and then during that process after the Camino I decided to follow maybe in their footsteps with my own twist on it is start up a YouTube channel so we've been going on for about nine months now I have 67 videos this one will be 68 I guess and uh, I have almost 4,600 hours watch time which is very good um, just need to increase the subscribers. We're at 417 by today. I'd like to get uh, by 500 by the time I go to uh, Scotland in a couple of uh, weeks. July, the end of July, I'm going to Scotland for a weekend. We're going to do the old couch surfing experience. So stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, so that's how I decided to choose to go to Langtang. You know, in remembrance of the people that lost their lives during the tragic earthquake in 2015. I think it'll be like a spiritual experience too. And then I'll get to see all these different places 
in Nepal, all the different countries. So if you have any places that you want me to see, I have an itinerary laid out, you know, roughly, but I'm, I have room for about eight days in between, uh, before and after, whatever, between the, the uh, Wang Tang Trek that I can fit in some other places. So give me some suggestions that you want to see and uh, I'll see if I can work it in. Yeah, so today's vlog is a short one. I just wanted to keep in touch with my uh, subscribers, let them know what's going on, um, you know, get some feedback from them, like if there's anything they in particular they want to see while I'm still here in Ireland. Uh, like I said, I'm going to Scotland coming up, and then obviously Nepal. But I'm, you know, just starting the, uh, the road to training and uh, getting in shape for it, because, you know, it's a beautiful... Uh, beautiful experience but you want to be prepared for it as I'm walking through Fort Mountain here another beautiful area uh, so make sure you hit that uh, comment and if you're not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button it really helps my channel and it'll help me going on uh, for when I get into Nepal and other areas of the world as we grow the channel um, so, so thanks again for staying stay tuning I'm just about uh, on my way back, um, not too, too far from home, maybe another two, four, about six, seven kilometers. Anyways, I'm on the home stretch. I'll just put this up a little bit later and uh, make sure you hit that comment about uh, the places you want me to see, how I want to go to like Nepal and that and different uh, accommodations to use and also comments about the diet like I'm thinking about doing a you know a reset of my diet to help get in shape and uh, let me hear your uh, your points of view on the subject when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done